Hello everyone, I'm Dallin Christensen from whiteboardbusiness.com where I help you make business happen. This is another special edition of At the Whiteboard as we prepare for the March 12th Discover, Design, and Deliver workshop that my friend Dave Wellman and I are presenting at the Clarion Hotel in Davenport. We've gone through ideal customer, delivering value, and brand in this video series. All of those things are great, but we're in business to make money. We need to make sure that our business is profitable over the long term so that we're able to grow it and it can still provide the living that we want for ourselves and our families. The fourth step in the whiteboard blueprint business model is the profit model. And the profit model is simple in theory, but sometimes difficult to execute. First, you have to make sure that your revenues, which are the money that you're bringing into the business, exceed your cost, which is the money that's going out of the business. When you're thinking about your revenue, you have to think of two things, price and volume. If you think of a company like Walmart, they charge extremely low prices and they try to sell as many items as they possibly can. Contrast a company like Walmart with a car company like BMW, which sells very high priced products and they're not as focused on volume as a company that's charging low prices. BMW makes its money on pricing. You have to make sure that you have a consistent revenue strategy where you're either going to focus on higher prices and delivering more value to your customers or try to be a low cost provider and sell as many items as you possibly can, which is a difficult proposition if you're just starting out in business at times. The second key part of the profit model is how are you going to incur your costs? You can incur your costs on a fixed basis where you're going to spend quite a bit of money up front, but then you won't spend as much money every time you produce something. Or you can adopt a variable cost strategy where you won't spend a lot of money on fixed items, but you're going to spend a little bit more money every time that you produce or sell something. Your fixed costs and your variable costs then combine to make your total costs, which then turns into your profits. You must make sure that your revenue model and your cost model are consistent with each other. You want to make sure that if you're charging high prices, that maybe you don't want to have as many fixed costs because if you have too many fixed costs, it's going to take longer and longer for you to ultimately reach profitability. Dave and I will go through the profit model in much more detail at the Discover, Design, and Deliver seminar on the 12th of March. But for right now, you have to remember the four key items of a profit model, price, volume, fixed costs, and variable costs. For more tips and tools on how to help your small business grow, visit www.whiteboardbusiness.com. I'm Dallin Christensen from Whiteboard Business Partners, and I'm here to help you make your business happen.